Okay, I got a cheap camera off of eBay. It's really small. It's one of those security cameras. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to mount it onto the quadcopter for, uh, you know, first person video. So if, uh, if this was the camera, it would be on here like this. And I'll be flying forward and backward, left and right like this. But <clears throat> what I need, what I thought would be neat is if I could take the video feed and overlay like information from the the quadcopter like its altitude basically a heads-up display so what I'm gonna do is I took this all apart this is uh, for night vision and all that don't need that so I took the the camera out and all I have to do is splice into these uh, video wires here and before it has a little transmitter in it that's a thing covered in masking tape right there you can't see so in between that and the camera itself I splice in and before it gets to this receiver which uh, which is with me on the ground it transmits to there uh, before it gets there I have to input all the information from the um, the quadcopter using the board right here so that's the plan <laughs> and it'll be neat so I'll just have to mount this on top and it'll be like I'm flying the quadcopter first person they call that first person video uh, and I, we already established that I can't fly it's because this motor is bad I, I ordered another one from uh, Air Quad so um, that's that that's the next project that's my first step into aerial photography so I'll have that and I'll also have an HD camera that I'll be able to take uh, aerial photography with. Um, this is going. This this camera right here is going to feed to here, which feeds the the signal into uh, a, a virtual 50 inch video goggles. So you can see like it's like you're looking at a 50 inch TV right in front of you. So. I'll be controlling it here and actually it'll be like I'm virtually flying in this little contraption right here it's pretty neat with all the information that I need altitude and whatnot so I don't crash